Hello friends and viewers. Today in the basic immunology, I am going to talk about the components of the immune system. To make it uh, more easy, the components of the immune system, firstly, uh, we can divide into um, two parts. The first one is uh, like the cell and the cellular products. And the second one is the organ system. So within the uh, cell and the cellular products, we have the cells and the cell derived products. In the cell part, we have the neutrophil, we have the monocyte and macrophages, and third one is the dendritic cell, fourth one is the eosinophil, and then basophil, mast cell, and the natural killer cells, and the lymphocyte. And in the cellular products, we have the antibodies that produce from the B cells and the complement system. Uh, so there are a lot of proteins in the complement system. They are produced in the liver. And the third one is the cytokine. They are produced from the T cells and some antimicrobial peptides that are, that, uh, are mainly produced by the epithelial cells. And the organ system, we have uh, like the bone marrow and thymus uh, these are called the so they are called the primary lymphoid organ and we also have the spleen uh, lymph node tonsil and the mucosa associated lymphoid tissue or melt and they are also divided uh, like the gut associated uh, lymphoid tissue and the respiratory associated lymphoid tissue or the reproductive organ associated lymphoid tissue so we have uh, tonsil here and we have thymus here and we have the spleen here in the left side of the abdomen we have lymph node all over the body and these lymph nodes are connected by the lymphatic vessel So next, let's see that uh, how this uh, immune cell are produced from our body. They are produced in the bone marrow. So bone marrow are found in the uh, bone and inside of the bone and the two sides of the bone, especially the big bones. And these big bones are uh, located here uh, in the leg or in the hand. And this bone marrow have a special kind of cell that is called uh, pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell. Uh, these cells are actually uh, self-renewing cell. Uh, they are stem cell. The stem cell is like they can produce a, a defined kind of cell and they are renewable. That means that they can produce themselves. So after producing of the self renewing hematopoietic stem cell, this type of cell can produce two different types of cell. The first one is the common myeloid progenitor cell and the second one is the common lymphoid progenitor cell. The myeloid means that they are coming from the bone marrow. Myeloid is, uh, means the bone marrow. And the lymphoid means they are, are produced in the bone marrow but matured in the other lymphoid organs like the thymus or, or the other lymphoid organs, spleen, etc. So this type of cell like the common myeloid progenitor cell can produce the erythroid uh, CFU, the colony forming unit and this this erythroid CFU can produce the erythrocyte or red blood cell. And the second one is the megakaryocytes that can produce the platelets. And the third one is the basophil that can produce the basophil cell in our blood. And the fourth one is the eosinophil CFU and that can produce the eosinophil in our blood. And this myeloid progenitor cell also can produce the neutrophil and the monocyte. 
depending on the presence of the granulocyte monocyte colony factor unit. Uh, so this this type of cell like the erythrocyte, platelets, basophil, eosinophil, neutrophil, and monocyte are produced in the bone marrow and matured there and then they come into the blood. But the lymphoid progenitor cell who is produced the B lymphocyte and the T lymphocyte and the natural care cell they are produced in the bone marrow but for B cell they are matured in the bone marrow but for T cell they are matured in the thymus so they are called the T, T lymphocyte but since the B lymphocyte are matured and uh, produced in the bone marrow they are called the B lymphocyte so this type of tree is called the hematopoietic tree that actually show that how our blood cell are produced from the bone marrow and then then let's see that how these uh, blood cell are defined from the number percentage and the size composition and the comparison so let's see the neutrophil neutrophil is the most abundant cell in the blood and their mean number per microliter of blood is 4400 but the eosinophil is less like 200 in per microliter and the basophil is more or less like the 40 per microliter but the lymphocyte is much more higher and they are 2500 uh, cells per microliter of blood and the monocyte is like 300 and these are the these are the average or mean number of the cell uh, and here you can see the range of this type of cell and uh, as a percentage the monocyte is 5.3 percent but the lymphocyte is the 30 percent and the most abundant the neutrophil is the 62 percent and the basophil is very little uh, like 0.4 percent and the eosinophil is 2.3 percent and then how their size actually compared like uh, the neutrophil is 10 to 12 micrometer in diameter and the eosinophil is also 10 to 12 micrometer in diameter and the basophil is little bit larger like the 12 to 15 micrometer in diameter but the lymphocyte is very small they are 7 to 8 micrometer when they are small but when they are activated by the pathogen they become large size and they become 12 to 15 micrometer in diameter but uh, the monocyte is the biggest cell they are 15 to uh, 30 micrometer in diameter so these are the uh, cells of the immune system so hopefully in next video i will try to um, define and mention their uh, function uh, for every type of cell like the neutrophil eosinophil basophil and thank you for watching, subscribe and like us.